Greetings! In this video, I'm going to show you how to install FreeBSD 12 onto an older Windows PC and then use Darkmate 12 to set it up with the Mate desktop environment. So it looks a bit like what you're seeing right now on screen. First, you're going to need a computer to download FreeBSD and create your install medium. Go to freebsd.org and navigate to the download section. Then pick the architecture of the target machine, which will most likely be AMD64. Since I'm going to use a USB thumb drive, I'll pick the memstick image and then wait for the download to finish. After inserting the drive into your machine, you will need to flash the image onto the thumbstick. Since I'm recording on a Linux box here, I will use the Disks application to do just that. If you are on other operating systems like macOS or Windows, there are a number of tools which can do a similar job. Select the drive from the left hand side, select Restore Disk Image, navigate to your image file and wait for the process to finish and the partition table looks something like that. Then eject the drive, unplug it and stick it into the target machine, which of course is powered off. Boot the computer while hammering on the BIOS or boot selection key, usually delete or one of the function keys, until you see a boot device selection menu like this one. Select your USB thumb drive and boot either into BIOS or UEFI mode. To get a clearer image, I will now switch to capturing the installation process on a virtual machine, but rest assured that the very same things are happening in parallel on real hardware. After the system has booted into the FreeBSD installer, select your key map, select a unique host name and select the packages you want to install. I usually go for a very lean based system with the system source files. Partition your hard drive or let the installer do it for you automatically. If you are running in UEFI mode, you may select GPT for the partition scheme, otherwise stick to MBR. Confirm your layout and let the installer set up your system. You will be asked for a new system password as well as some info about your network, which has probably configured itself by this point. Set the time and date based on your location, then select the services you like to run at boot. I like to enable the time and power daemons here as well as clear the temp folders, but you can select whatever you prefer. When the installation is finished, reboot the system and remove your thumb drive. Your new FreeBSD installation is now ready to be customized. Log in as root with your root password. Then change directory to the temporary folder, which will store our temporary downloads. Next, I'm going to pull my Darkmate installer from my GitHub page using the fetch command. Since this is an SSL connection, I have to use the no verified peer option. Fetch will pull a file called install.sh, which you need to make executable via chmod and then run. The installer will go through a number of questions, like which keyboard variant you would like to use and which packages you would like to install. For this demo, I'm just going to install a minimal desktop with a Firefox browser. After the package selection, you will be asked to create a new user. Follow the instructions on screen and don't forget to put yourself in the wheel and video groups. You may add as many users as you like, but I'm just going to create a single account. After setting up your accounts, you may walk away for about 20 minutes, depending on your internet speed of course, and let the computer install the desktop, your software packages and all their dependencies. When the script has finished, simply reboot the machine using the shutdown command. If you are lucky, you will now boot into a graphical environment. But if your computer is anything like mine, meaning an Intel box with a dedicated NVIDIA graphics card, the display server will fail to initialize. You can check by reviewing the logs for warnings and errors. Remember, this screen capture is from a virtual machine, but the real thing looks very similar. In short, you are missing the NVIDIA graphics drivers, which you can either pull via PKG or directly from the NVIDIA website, which is usually more recent. To get the URL to the driver, you need to visit the NVIDIA website and select your graphics card and operating system. Then right click on the download button and copy the address to the zipped tarball. On your FreeBSD machine, navigate to the temporary folder again 
and use the fetch command just like before to pull the NVIDIA driver. You then have to unpack the driver using unr. You still have to build the kernel module for the driver through the make command, then install your driver with make install. Finally, execute NVIDIA xconfig to generate a matching X configuration file and reboot. I am now swapping over to the real hardware again and show you the first boot of the machine in real time. It just takes about 19 seconds on this rather aging hardware, which is right in line with popular Linux distros like Ubuntu or Debian. Log in using your account credentials and you will be greeted with a beautiful dark themed Mate desktop. I swapped over to direct HDMI capture again, so you can actually see what I'm doing here. That's the terminal, and yes, we are indeed running FreeBSD 12. Gilex Gears, everyone's favorite 3D test program, is running fine as well. For everyone interested, these are the actual specs of my test machine. The home directory is populated with the usual photos like documents and pictures, and the whole file system is accessible through the sidebar too. Since we installed a web browser, let's visit the FreeBSD website as a final test. Firefox is found in the brisk menu, no problem, and launches very quickly too. Let's go to freebsd.org. There it is. Scrolling is very snappy and dragging windows around works flawlessly. No lag or stuttering. I hope you found this guide helpful. Maybe I even made you want to give FreeBSD a shot, now that you know how to set it up and boot into a nice graphical environment. Feel free to fork or contribute to my Darkmate installer on GitHub, but for now, that's it, and I hope you enjoy your new FreeBSD system.